Hello, welcome back to part 17 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're gonna build the tile class, but before we're gonna do that, I want to draw the map coordinates first on the screen. And bef before we're gonna do that, we need to go to the cursor class and we need to make our position public. So we're gonna cut it here. And we paste it in our public section. We make them public. And we give it a capital letter. So we have to rename it. Alright. And we did done. We need to build a function which translates the world's coordinates to map coordinates. And we're going to do that in the utils class. So go to the utils class. And that's a public static. It returns a point. And we call it the world to map. And we passed in a factor 2 for the position. Alright, and then we need a private point, and we call it the map position, and that's a new point. Alright, and now we're going to say that the map position dot x is equals to the int of position dot x divided by the int of game one tile size right and now we can do the same for the i position so map position dot i is equals to the int of position dot i divided by the int of k1 dot tile size. Alright, and now we can return the map position. Alright. Translate a screen position into a map tile coordinate. Alright. And the screen position to translate. And it returns the map tile coordinate. Alright. And that's the world to map function. Alright. And now we can go to the game class. And there we're going to need to define a private point. So private point. And we call it the map position. And that's a new point. Represents the map position. All right. And now we can go to the draw method. And we're going to draw it in a different sprite path, so we need a new sprite path begin and a sprite path end. All 
right? And now we can draw the map coordinates on the screen, right? But first we need the map system to translate. So uh, utils dot world to map, and now we're gonna pass in a new factor too. And we're going to use our cursor position.x minus 176 and the cursor position.i. Alright. Now we're gonna draw sprite bits draw string and we're gonna use the hut font and now we're gonna draw the map X and that's the map position dot X and we're gonna convert it to a string. Alright, plus, and now the i plus the map position dot i, and that's two string. Alright, and we're gonna draw it on the position, so new factor 2, 4, 1, 0. 550 and the color is white. Alright. So draw the map coordinates. Okay. Well, let's see how it looks. And there we have our map coordinates. Right? Okay. Now it's time to build the tile class. So let's do that. Go to project add class and we call it the tile.cs. Right? The first thing we're gonna do is copy the using block. So, and we're gonna paste it here. And now we're gonna define some private variable, and that's a private rectangle, and we call it the source rect. represents the source rectangle and we need a private rectangle and that's the destination rect represents the destination rectangle all right That are the private variables. Oh. So and now we have some public variable, and that's our public factor 2 for the position and that's the position 
of the tile. And we need another one. And that's a public int. And we call it the selected. And it's default zero. And this indicates the selected item where zero is the first one. All right. That are the public variables. And now we need the constructor. So public tile and we get a factor 2 for the position and an int for the selected get a local copy of the values passed in and now we can say that this position is position and we can say this selected is selected right the tile constructor that's the position of the tile on the screen the selected index for the tile strip okay So I'm going to finish the tutorial here and in the next tutorial we're going to finish the tile class and we're going to build the tile list. So I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.